your girl bunny i would like to thank god for this opportunity once again and today's topic we are going to speak about rising above seasons where we will look at ways on how one can prepare for the next season as well as the four major seasons that are found in our lives stay tuned if you see me looking down below that's because that's where my notes are okay so what are the benefits of 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 seasons so the first one is seasons guarantee change and then the second one is seasons bring hope because seasons are connected to time right to the to a time frame so what i mean by this is if today you are heartbroken for an example as seasons change as time goes by you will then realize that actually you are now feeling a little bit better or you are feeling a little bit relieved of the heartache okay and then the other important thing is everything is seasonal nothing remains the same so now imagine if we were living eternally on this earth that means if you are going through difficulties or difficult moments those difficult moments would have lasted forever how devastating is that you know just to think about it that is why seasons are actually very very good for us okay the key to life is outlasting seasons and once you have figured that out or once you know exactly how to prepare for the next season then you're actually really good to go okay so let us look at the major seasons in our lives there are four major seasons in our lives and these seasons are divided by 25 cycles the first one is known as the morning stage now the morning stage is a learning stage right this is a stage from one up to 25 years where you are just trying to figure out who you are where you are trying to figure out what you really want to do in terms of your career and then we have a second stage which is known as the afternoon stage now the afternoon stage is a stage of execution which is from the age of 25 to 50 years yeah? at this stage you are supposed to be living in the fullness of your vision and mission in life you're supposed to be living according to what god has de has designed you to do on this earth the third stage is known as the evening stage which is from the age of 51 to 75 years so in the evening stage you are supposed to be mentoring people who are going through the morning and the afternoon stage right and then in this evening stage this is usually a stage where people actually measure your success now your success is only measured based on how successful your kids are and a very important note here is you are only successful until the next generation becomes loyal to your thought okay so this is also a stage where you must have already built an institution which reflects your values and your beliefs okay and then the last stage is the stage of rest which is from the age of 75 years above this is the stage where you should have that fulfillment in your heart and that conviction that you lived your life according to the best of your ability okay a very important note guys is in our season of plenty ne? season of abundance seasons where everything is at ease we should actually really look for ways and means into the next season okay now the most important thing here is time time is a precious commodity they say you know and time is actually really expensive so it's important for you to be able to save your time and to be able to invest your time very well especially for us the young ones it's very very important guys okay so how then do i plan for the next season in my life ne? now that i'm in the season of ease and because when you are in the season of abundance we tend to forget that the season of dryness is just around about the corner how can one best plan the first thing you need to do is to build capacity we should build capacity in all our life's aspects and then secondly we should build quality relationships only this is where we should build relationships with sincere people only people who will help you to 
actually reach your destiny people who will bring out the best out of you you are not supposed to be wasting time with just anybody okay and then we should also maximize relationships so whatever relationship it is that you are going through or that you have name be it a romantic relationship be it a family relationship be it a friendship relationship each and every relationship that you have we should bring the best out of these relationships guys it's very very important being mindful of the way we treat people because you never know the person that you are looking down on today can help your kids in the future while you are in your evening stage you know because it's a cycle let's be kind to people let's treat people better ne? and a, a very good note on that is it is better for you to be kind than to be right now most of us aspire to be right all the time being right is not wrong but it is better to be kind than to be right okay so let's just bear that in our minds let's selflessly invest in blessing and transforming others now what i'm saying here is if you can do it help if you can do it advice if you can do it find ways to bring a smile on the next person's face it's very very important for you to actually invest in people because as seasons are going to change you will need people in your life we should not expect loyalty from people who we never invested in i mean that's fair enough if you never invested in somebody in one way or another then never expect any loyalty from them don't even expect anything in return from them okay. let's study and carefully follow those who maintained relevance through seasons now there are people if you have a closer look there are people who who constantly remain relevant through seasons out of seasons it's very important for us to kind of study and follow these people in order for them in order for us to kind of figure out how we should actually apply that to our lives okay a very good example is our parents our grandparents our parents some of us have five six siblings and if we have to be honest they worked so hard or have been working so hard to to put food on our tables irrespective of the fact that probably they they were not even employed or they are not even employed Name. now we have a tendency of of saying no they are old school you know we are the now generation but then sometimes some of us are having two or three kids and we don't even know how to maintain or how to help these kids you know when they are misbehaving we are we just we just lose it okay so it's important for us to go back to the libraries of our communities these libraries being our parents our grandparents especially the grandparents these people have experienced life from the morning stage up until the evening stage and some of them are even at the resting stage so these are actually people who are full of who have wisdom they are full of wisdom and if we can make that time to actually just gain from that wisdom it's going to benefit us the way it's also written we should not remove the ancient landmark which simply means that we should not change what works right so definitely whatever formula they have been using have been working so let's rather just find information and apply that information to our own lives okay if you are feeling some type of way and you are feeling hopeless in terms of 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 you losing seasons or you losing out seasons name the number one thing that i can tell you is there is hope there is hope and even the lord said he will restore unto us the number of our days so the most important thing for you is you have to realign your life especially as young people guys let's realign our lives let's be a little bit intentional with the way we spend our time with who we spend our time 
it's very very important for us to be intentional about our lives each and every decision that we are making let's consciously remind ourselves that age is not on our side let's constantly remind ourselves that seasons will change and if you are having or if you are passing through a difficult season there's good news for you as well today things are looking bad but definitely tomorrow there is hope tomorrow things will look better time does heal seasons change ne? so let's keep that in mind guys so thank you so so much for watching this video please do comment below on the seasons that you are experiencing right now and let's open a discussion on that thank you so so much for watching for those of you who have subscribed already thank you so much and for those of us who did not yet subscribe please do the right thing and i will see you in my next video goodbye